Totino's pizza rolls. I have eaten many in my childhood. 10 year old Naisha would have loved to recreate these today. And that's what she's gonna do. We're going to make them, we're going to fry them, we're going to freeze them, we're gonna bake them, we're gonna eat them. Sounds like a lot. I know, stick with me, it's worth it. I'm going to be using a low moisture mozzarella today. I actually dust my knife with cornstarch a bit and I find that that helps my cheese not to stick. I sort of section this off down the center, begin to create planks. We're looking for about a quarter of an inch on this brunoise. Ah, uh, yes. The girl knows what she's doing here. We slice this down and now we want to create a dice, right? So simply achieved by running your knife down. And so this will ensure that we have the perfect amount of cheese in every bite. Cheese is done and it's sort of tossed in this cornstarch, right? So what's gonna happen is that it'll stay fairly separate and we have a beautiful dice. Moving on to pepperoni. I'm gonna remove a little bit of that casing. I wanna slice these the same size as my cheese. And so we wanna create these sort of match sticks and then you run your knife opposite direction. Generally, you, you'll get a lot more control off of your knife if you're using the base. I add about two teaspoons of cornstarch. So what this is gonna do to our pepperoni is lightly, evenly coat, and actually sort of suspend the pepperoni and the cheese in, in our sauce. First part of our sauce, we need to dice the onion and smash our garlic. So I'm really just going to go in and slice these. We just wanna break them down so they cook quickly. With the garlic, really, I just want to smash and then just give it a rough chop. This is the base and the aromatics for our sauce. Quarter cup of canola olive oil blend. To this oil, in a medium high heat, I will add sliced onions and our smashed garlic. What we wanna do is really sweat these onions down very, very soft, and that's gonna add a really beautiful amount of body to our passata or tomato puree. I will add two teaspoons of salt. So once these start to come together, just turn the heat down by half. So today I'm using two and a half cups of tomato puree. I'm adding dried basil, oregano, and black pepper. Now that we have our sauce complete, we're going to give this a blend. Cool your sauce a bit first and start your blender on low. We're looking really just for a nice smooth consistency. Now that we have our sauce complete and our pepperoni and cheese dice, we're gonna combine the two. Half cup of sauce, half cup of mozz, and quarter cup of pepperoni. Just gently fold together. We're going to place this into a piping bag for easy distribution into our beautiful dough. So I like to use a little butcher's twine, tie this off. We are going to go into the fridge for 30 minutes. All right guys, time to make the dough. So first step in this amazing dough, kind of a, an empanada meets pizza dough, meets pie dough. Uh, we wanna mix our liquids, a half a cup of water, one egg, and Salt. I like to mix my salt in with my liquid to combine thoroughly. So to start this dough, I want to start with two cups of all-purpose flour. I also have some pre-diced butter that is unsalted. And now we are adding our wet ingredients. We're looking for a very consistent dough and something that sort of resembles like wet sand. So from here, what I wanna do is just knead this dough a bit. And what we're looking for here is a nice tacky dough. So I'm gonna allow this dough to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So our dough is rested and we're going to roll it out. I'm going to section this in half. It's gonna lightly dust my cutting board, essentially just so that it doesn't stick. And so you want to roll your dough from the center and you sort of end up with these sort of uh, larger pieces around the outside. Rotate your dough, one quarter turn and continue to roll. We're looking for about of an eighth of an inch thick here. This is a dough that has a nice uh, buttery flavor and consistency. The butter's gonna offer a good amount of flake and tenderness to this dough. Okay, so we're looking for about a 12 by 12 dough here. I'm gonna take a look at these, see what we got here. Okay, so this is about two inches by an inch. Totino's calls me up. They're like, um, no, it's actually like 1.3 quarters. <laughs> Just gonna cut this dough down the center. Any dough that we're not using, make sure we're always covering with a lightly, lightly damp towel just to ensure that the dough is not going to dry out. 
I want to create an egg wash. And the egg wash is essentially there just to act as a binder for the edges. A light brush of egg. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of mixture per pizza roll. So from here, what I wanna do is I want to take out any air pockets that we have because we do not want these beautiful pizza rolls to explode. I want them about one inch by two inches. And then I'll give them just another quick little trim around the outside once these are sealed. I love things like this. It's like a few ingredients in a lovely little pocket. So now we're going to throw these into the blast chiller. Our pizza pockets have come out of the blast chiller. They are rock solid. I'm going to fry these pizza rolls at 350 degrees for about three to five minutes. So we're about 30 seconds out on our first fry. And remember, this is just to cook the dough. Dough is cooked through. I'm going to allow these to freeze to set the center of these pizza rolls. I want to bring down the internal temperature and then we will bake them. So these are gonna go into a blast chiller. Our pizza rolls have been frozen, par cooked, frozen again, and now they're ready for the oven. These pizza rolls are going to go into the oven at 425 for about six to eight minutes. Dang. These are gonna be like liquid hot magma inside. <laughs> Always making sure that we season when hot. Add a little bit of salt outside. I have these really fond memories of being a kid and like not being able to wait when they came out of the oven and just like putting them in my mouth and my, my mouth burning. I would like to point out that these pizza rolls had less than 10 ingredients and these pizza rolls have a paragraph of ingredients. So, this is uh, a real food. So good. These are like super flaky, quality ingredients, amazing ratio of sauce and cheese. I feel like a kid again. Wow. Who would have thought these beats so easy to recreate? It didn't take that much time. Really, the most amount of time was like the waiting to eat them. <laughs> please leave your thoughts in the comments and please definitely do not burn your mouths.